Welcome to Video Influencers. Today I have a very special guest and a friend, Dulce Aww. Candy. Thank you hey. so much for being here with me. <laughs> Thank you. The following content is brought to you in part by FameBit. FameBit is the number one platform for YouTube, Instagram, Vine, and Twitter creators to connect with brands for paid sponsorships. Get signed up and start making money today at FameBit. A couple things about Dulce if you guys don't know. One, she's got over 2 million subscribers, over 250 million views, 800 plus videos. That's a lot of videos. I, love well, I think what's most impressive in is she's been doing this for over seven plus years. Amazing. Actually the same amount of time as Judy. Mm -hmm. So like it's one thing to be successful here and there, but to have that kind of longevity kudos to you thank, thank you so you. much is there thank anything you. you want to say to that or add to it or uh you know when you love what you do yeah. it doesn't feel like it and if you, if it does come from a place of loving it mm -hmm. then you know i think you're gonna have longevity yeah so. the first thing i wanted to do um is have you explain your story you know in a nutshell uh, from your first upload on YouTube to where you're at today in 2015, what that journey was like for you, uh, for the viewers that might know, not know who you are. Well, I began in 2008, a long time ago, and at that point I had just gotten back from the Army, and I wanted to look for a place that I can feel like a woman because mm. you couldn't really be a lot like very feminine in the yeah. military. So I discovered the beauty community, and Judy was Judy, one of the first same ones. Thing. Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Judy was one of the first ones that I started watching, and I remember her videos from back then. And I just fell in love with the community and just yeah. being a woman and expressing things that I love. And yeah, like up to this point, it's been a long journey, yeah. ups and downs, and I've grown a lot because I was very young and immature yeah. and now in my late 20s. So it's been a long journey, but very fulfilling. Awesome. Yeah. And, and back then it was a much smaller community. You oh, know? yeah. YouTube is this ocean. But back then it was just like small ponds, right? It was like, like 100 beauty channels. Yeah. 100. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. There's yeah. got, got to be like tens of thousands oh, now, yeah. right? So yeah, next question is something out of your book, which by the way, let's just do an early shout out Yay. to The Sweet Life <laughs> by... Dulce Candy Ruiz, and um, in this book, you talk about um, some of the challenges of YouTube and overcoming those challenges. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things like for a new YouTuber or somebody that's looking to start a channel can expect to face and how to overcome them? I think for me, the biggest challenge that I ever came across with YouTube is stepping into a world that I was not used to. Mm. So declining a lot of opportunities yep, because I was yep. afraid of being in front of a lot of people, yep, in front of a yep. crew. And I think that comes from a place of me not really um, being comfortable in my own skin yep. and feeling like other people were judging me. But I definitely turned down a lot of opportunities mm. because of fear. Yeah. So yeah. I really learned to just face the fears and... Yes. And, and do it because we're, we're capable of doing yeah, those things. Absolutely. And I know a huge part of your book is that fear and overcoming that fear. Mm -hmm. And specifically to the some of the hate or the negativity that's on YouTube. I mean, I know a lot of people not only... Um, stop their YouTube channels yeah. but are prevented altogether in starting a channel because yeah. they're like afraid of the hate and the negativity, the trolls, the mm. haters. Can you uh, talk about that and how you've had to face it and any tips that you want to share with uh, maybe other young women and men that might have to face that? Yeah, I actually get a lot of questions regarding that because yeah. even some people that want to start YouTube channels, they're even afraid of their family or friends mm, or like the close people yeah. judging them and um, picking at them, especially if if you're in like junior high, high school mm, and you want to pursue yep, a, totally. you know, your passion on YouTube. Uh, but for me, I just, I separate the, even the good comments and yeah. the bad ones. I don't yeah. take them personally because if I believe the good ones, then I want to believe the bad ones as well. Yep, totally. And at the end of the day, it's not really nothing personal, yeah. even if it seems that way, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't let other people's feelings towards you hold you back from pursuing your dream. Yeah, I think that's a good point, like, uh, not to get too deep, but like, yeah, getting your positive energy from inside mm -hmm. and not getting it from exterior. Other people, exactly. And I like that. I've never heard that. Like, you want to acknowledge your supporters, but you don't want that to be your only driver because then uh -huh. you are acknowledging the negative yeah, exactly. as well. So, yeah. all right, so Dulce <laughs> on, you, you know that YouTube has grown. It is huge now, right? And especially in the beauty world, like to like start a new channel and stand out is not easy, right? Yeah. And I don't want to say like when you and Judy started, it was easy. I mean, you yeah. guys had to work very yeah. hard, especially if you think about it, it wasn't even like 
widely known about, right? Mm -hmm. So the a much smaller pool of people. What's advice you would give to people for starting a YouTube channel and how to stand out and like how to get your channel known to get more subscribers and to get more views? Um, okay, I have a few tips. Love it, love it. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, this is a very basic one, but you have to be yourself mm, because there's yeah. already someone else who's being yeah. successful. You have to be yourself because that's the only thing you, that you can offer and that's fresh and new and that relates and connects with other people. Yep. You have to be true to yourself. Um, I do believe that nowadays, since there is a lot of channels out there, collaborating is very vital yes. just to get exposure from yeah. other channels. Um, I feel like back then it was kind of like, not as, yeah. you know, like maybe you feel like people are taking advantage of you. Yep, yep. But nowadays, I think it's very important to collaborate Super with people. Super important. I mean, it's probably one of the easiest ways to grow yeah. is getting exposed to an audience that doesn't know you, right? Exactly. And don't give up. I know it takes a long yes. time, but don't give up. Don't give Just up. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Persevere. <laughs> so one thing that is specific to you that Judy and I both have looked up to you guys and Jesse, because I know Jesse helps you with some of the tech stuff. You have such great quality when it oh, comes to your videos. Thanks. And it, it's not just a recent thing. It goes way, way back. Do you have any advice for a new YouTuber or maybe an established YouTuber about techie equipment? You know, the stuff that makes your video look good. Um, well, I like to start off with, um, I did invest some money into the equipment, like a mm, good camera, yeah. good lighting. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but definitely if this is going to be like your passion in your career, you have to have good equipment, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So invest in something great, um, especially a good camera and a good lens. Yeah. I like to use a 50 millimeter in general because okay. You know, there's a lot of room yep. to play with that. Yep. Um, and also when I'm editing my videos, I don't do it all at once. I like to step back and do it in a few days oh. and always ask myself, how can I make this a little bit better? Even if it's just a text or a transition or something like yeah, that. Yeah, very you know? disciplined. Are you yeah. Apple or PC? Apple, for totally. sure. Totally. Yes. <laughs> you know, one thing we've learned is you're right. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to know where to spend it, right? Yeah. Lightning rounds. Yeah. Coke or Pepsi? Coke, for sure. Yes. Yep. Pepsi, I'm Coke, I'm Coke too. Yeah, whack. <laughs> Last thing you grabbed out of the fridge. Orange juice. Instagram or Snapchat? Instagram. I'm barely starting to get into Snapchat. Air dry or blow dry? Air dry. <laughs> Air dry. Hmm. Pumping gas or pumping iron? Gas. Glee or Game of Thrones? None. Damn. None? None. <laughs> if there was a zombie apocalypse and you could only have one item, what would it be? My son. Is yeah, a different item, perspective though? of it. What about you? I'm gonna say samurai sword. Only I heard oh, that once. Oh, that's a good one. That's true. <laughs> lipstick or lip brush? Lipstick. Favorite YouTube channel that you watch? Watermelon Andrea. Hmm. Do you know who that is? Yeah, he does okay. so many skits, and one of the uh, characters he does is Watermelon Andrea. Okay. And it's so funny. You have to check it out. It's I'll hilarious. I'll check it out for sure. Song you have on repeat? Uh, Selena Gomez, good for you. In your book, um, you give a lot of dap to your husband, your great husband, Jesse, mm -hmm. about being so supportive. And I guess being uh, a husband manager of Judy, I can relate you to that, right? Yeah. And you know, especially being on YouTube and doing something so different, whether it's on YouTube or other social media platforms, trust is a huge thing, yeah, right? Especially sure. with this industry being so new and you know, not knowing who's got your best interests at heart. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people that might want to work with their husband, wife, significant other, family or friend when it comes to their YouTube business? Um, I definitely think it's a blessing to be yeah. able to work with my husband and I know you can you can totally relate to that. Yeah. To your wife. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, because there's nothing more important, I think, in this business than having someone who has 100% your best interest. Yes. Because there might be people that come into your life and they, they give you all this beautiful talk yep. about how they can work for you and do all these amazing things. But at the end of the day, I know it's a business and yep. I know people, you know, it comes down to money. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice having someone who is not about that and yeah. just about you and focused on your well-being in general. So I think that's a blessing. So if you can find someone that has that kind of interest, especially yeah. a partner, and I know that's very um, typical nowadays yeah. for bloggers totally. and everybody yeah. to have, you know, their other half yeah. be involved. So 
with YouTube and being so competitive and so many different channels out there, mm -hmm. um, you of all people know the importance of branding. And yeah. again, in your book, you talk about how to create branding, uh, you know, to be successful on YouTube. You know, outside of the fact that you still need to create great content, yeah. can you discuss a little bit or share some of your wisdom when it comes to branding yourself and your channel? Um, well, I like to align myself when I do collaborations with other brands, mm -hmm. with brands that are also going to help me grow. Yeah. So it's not just a one-way street of helping a brand promote a product, but it's also how can that brand help you grow as well yeah. as a business and as a brand outside of even YouTube alone, you know? Yep, yep. Um, I do believe that it's not, you shouldn't focus on just taking every single deal because yeah. that's not going to give you longevity in this no. YouTube career. You know, you have to think outside of the first paycheck or yeah. that one product that you're endorsing or whatever yeah, yeah. definitely has to be outside. Um, and just using them to your advantage as well, you know, because they're using you, yeah. might as well get something that benefits your brand as well. Totally, and, and hopefully I'm not giving away too much of your book, but one of the things that I learned was like the words. What are the words that describe who you are, what your brand is? So you say like five words and yours, let's see if I, I remember. I don't even um, remember. <laughs> I think one is Latina, right? Uh -huh. Fashion, beauty, family, um, I think mother was the other one. Yeah. There might have been one or two more, but you know, like having those words and it even made me think about my branding, mm -hmm. right? Or Judy's branding. Um, so that's great advice. So that leads us to really my last question, which is this book, The Sweet Life by Dulce Candy Reese. <laughs> Go check it out. We'll put the yes. link down below. But is there anything that you want to share about this book with the viewers? Because on a uh, personal note, I just read all of this except the beauty Thank stuff you. at the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it's a great book for anybody to read, um, but especially young women, right? And even you, as, aspiring YouTubers, it's a great book because you mm -hmm. give a lot of the uh, basic principles, um, the things that we share on this channel. But in addition to all that, could you talk about the book and what you want people to know about it? Well, I, I got a little, I got very personal actually, mm -hmm. especially in the first half of my book because I went through a lot of situations where I really doubted myself as mm -hmm. a teen and I made a lot of wrong choices. Yeah. And what I want women and young girls especially to know is that we all have these similar things that we go through and sometimes you feel like you're alone. So for me, it was yeah. really important to share my struggles and fears and insecurities and all of the bad things that I did along with the good because I, I, don't, I would hope to spare that kind of negative Turmoil. feeling. Yeah. Totally. If I could. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And being a father uh, and hearing your stories as a young woman, um, that's, I think, that wasn't necessarily the goal, mm -hmm. but your stories are so transparent, so honest, right? Um, that I think anybody can appreciate what you went through yeah. and sharing that. So, yeah. bam, Dulce yeah. Candy. <laughs> we'll put the link to her book down below. Check out her YouTube channel. We'll also put that down below. Um, they've got a whole bunch of channels, her and her husband, Jesse, and they have a cute son, Isaac, yeah. and he just started a YouTube <laughs> channel as well. <laughs> Uh, anyways, is there anything else you want to say before we end um, it? No, thank you so much. Yeah. This was a lot of fun thank and I you. really appreciate your time and everything. You made the interview so fun. Oh, cool. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you again for watching Video Influencers. Make sure you subscribe, comment, visit our Facebook page. We'll talk to you later. Sean uses PCs. Oh, We're trying to convert. <laughs> in fact, it's so funny because Sean's computer is broken down in the other room right now. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? He's PC. I thought for sure you guys would say pumping iron for some reason. Maybe because you guys were in the army. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, we didn't talk about that at all, but I want to give uh, a huge thanks to you and Jesse. You know, coming from a military family, serving our country. I mean, you talk about it in your book. Thank you oh, so thank much. Thank you for I, your we, family, too. Oh, then, I have a question for you. So, the push ups, you could really do 50 push ups? I don't know if I could do them now, but I did. I, 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 I was like, they want to test me? That's impressive.